Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech in the next episode. We will go on with our next contract where we again have to go over lances or destroy pirate lances and one little shout out to um, Bogen Tofan. I hope I pronounced it right, if not I'm really really sorry. I really appreciate your comments. Um, you helped me out. If I've not put everything into these episodes by now, but everything you post there, thank you very much, you helped me out. Anyhow, let's go seek and destroy. Our intelligence confirms there's a lance of pirate military units operating on Balfron within a region we control. All canopian operations are at risk as long as this lance is allowed to move unimp um, uh, unimpeded, hunt down the enemy lance and eliminate it. This is a straightforward battle, Commander. Finding a military lance in a backwater like this should be no challenge at all, and that I think as Command well. Interface initiated. We've got the commander right out in the open. These guys and these guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them, take them out. Good hunting commander Olivera out. Here we go. Yes, here we go. And this is actually our first mission where we are playing at night that we haven't had before. But I have You betcha! Actually, nothing to say against that. Our little scout I said, of course, again ahead. He did actually quite good, I guess. You know, we are playing a very, very easy mission right now. Um, I guess in missions which are a little um, more challenging, which I hope will come soonish, then that will be, I guess, not as good as of an option. I would actually like to let him jump down, but I can't do that right now. Roger. So I'll leave him there and I hope I can do it in the next round. Um, this guy, I sadly did a little mistake there. For now you brace. And it is our turn. For now I guess it is not Good as bad that she is behind like that, but she has to jump. I leap. Ability, the ability that of course is very good for us to go on. Let's go to Medusa. Okay. Um, okay, she's going to brace. We are going to sprint ahead and I will go to the left and to the right. That is just some th something I like to do in, in strategy games. Okay, there's... Reporting enemy on one hand the enemy and I need to move him down the Reporting. other way. There I did a little mistake. I thought I had the jumpers on him. I guess I'm not. But that we may change. And on that instances this of course is really great if you are able to um, you know just to um, jump from um, height down. That is really amazing. So that guy there, we will Commander. engage in one of the next rounds here. So Affirm. now finally taking the right way. <laughs> Sorry for the little misfit there, but now we are good to go and I will focus on the right mech there. Um, what I like right now, that I hope I can actually engage him with two guys before the rest of his company arrives. That is a little plan I'm having there. And I will now focus More potential salvage on, the field. on him because I think he's the most hard-hitting target of the enemies. Let's then fire. Affirmative. Nice miss. Well, at least we did little small hits. Um, what was a little bit sad that we missed that heart that I really did I not expect there. Coordinates received. Good thing on the one hand, of course, we are in cover. That is really, really amazing. And I aim for the body, actually. Got it. 
I like this gun. That was bas basically one shot. I don't know. Was that a that looked like a medium um, mech and not a um, heavy mech, but that was quite cool, I think. Um, finally, a weapon I really enjoy. And so, three more units are remaining. Though, I think they are not as heavy as the um, targets we already have destroyed. The heavy targets are still coming up, I guess. So, our turn here. Now, the time is there that we have to... You know, move to the enemy in order to get some shots off. What I do not really like about the scout that he's very close range, um, but therefore, or light one, um, he is faster at the enemies. Uh, That's at least what I'm thinking there. Wondering whether that is a that's a tank, all right? He shot at us, but that didn't do much. So we are now going to face him, actually. Maybe I can get off some really, really good shots. That is amazing. Hit him in ammo red, this side. All weapons committed. Alright. Oh no, we just talked to him. I want to say, ah, oh, this is a heavier tank. But no, he is not. So these two... Receiving you. I will just sprint ahead. I know they are going to be fired at. Um, that could always be things where you... Where I need to test out. I do not know. I have any... I um, don't have so much expertise there. Whether it's better to put them in reserve. Or just you, sprint ahead. You know, the, wow, I wanted to um, sprint and not jump. Um, oh, can I attack? Be, I guess at least her rockets can hit him. Time to die. Um, whether it's good to you know do the sprints there, or just you know put your guys um, in reserve because he's firing at us, and I don't know you know you have repair pods, don't you? But they didn't do much of damage there, so fair enough for me. So I know that won't do anything, but I'm sprinting uh -oh. him ahead, of course. That is something we do. So this is just one guy remaining, so um, I'm not expecting too too much <laughs> of things happening right here because we yes, are Commander. at the upper hand. On the one hand we are of course we have more units and I think every Mech aye of aye. us can actually one shot this guy. Uh, but he's in cover, but that should just do. What did I just uh, just say? Every mech of us can run hit him. Ah, sorry for that. That was I a I guess a obvious misjudgment there. Too bad, too bad. <laughs> I didn't say anything. But three mechs against one tank. Well, what should go wrong? four uh -huh. tanks. So the blue weapon, I don't know what kind of weapon this is, um, should actually take um, a look at that, but that weapon I really, really enjoy. A milk run, just as we expected. Good work, Commander. Yay. Successful. So let's take a quick look at our Money, 176,000. That is good. That is good. That is good. That helps uh, helps us out with our... Um, actually, with our... Um, you know, the minus we are doing in the accounting stuff. Your performance was exemplary, Commander Ral. Ensure that the Megastracy High Command hears about your skills. Yes. So, let's go on. We got some XP for our pilots. That is really amazing. We have received two um, items that's nice and then I will cut out the loading time I'll see you in a second contract ah, I didn't see the contract all right everybody gather around 
after our do you know what i think this guy doesn't look the same in the small picture and that picture anyhow that's just me after our last talk i bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts and i might i repeat might have caught us something who's the client unknown she didn't id herself in the message but she claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. She says that she's got a big job lined up and she wants us for it. Us especially, she called the commander out by name. How would she even know about us in the first place? It w wasn't like we drowning in toxicity out here. Hey, looks like our luck has finally changed. She's got good taste in mercenaries. How whoever she is and I go with the first one. Good question, and I'm betting we don't have the answer. I we don't have an answer. You're certain this client isn't really a bounty hunter, cause I can list off, uh, um, I can list off about five different banks that'll love to repossess the ship. We are shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review board's back, gang. Hell no, I'm not certain. But for what it's worth, I can confirm that she's rich. She reached out to us from a priority HPG message. And those rigs, uh, those things ain't cheap. Rich is good, I like rich. We'll meet with this mystery client, but that's all we do until we've heard her pitch. That sounds like a step in the right direction at least. Well, let's go with a little bit of optimism there. It really does, and without wanting to harp on it, we are um, homoharag homoharagging. Did I say the right C builds edit is? I say it's worth the risk. I mean, that's <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? Well, being destroyed, our new client went out the airlock, and our corpse spent the rest. Our new client went us out the uh, sorry, <laughs> and our corpse spent the rest of uh, forever tumbling through the icy vastness of space. Thanks to that delightful image, Yang. Look, Monty, I'll admit, this is sketchy as hell. But it's also the best lead we are likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course to below foreign, the client will be waiting. The contract um, to meet with our Canopian mystery client is ready for review in the command center. Take a look when you're ready, Commander. And. Our macros have picked up fair amount of combat experience over these last drops. Head back to Brevix to review their dossiers and direct their training. And don't forget you can check on the state of the finances from the terminal and the captain's quarters. If you ever want to change our mercenary company's name or simple, you can do that from there too. And that already guys brings us to the end of this episode. I hope I can do the next episode a little bit longer which is going to come out tomorrow on Friday um, I I do not know how much time I'm going to have tomorrow but after the next episode I plan to do them a little bit longer um, just for a little heads up um, put it, pushing them from 15 to 20 minutes or even 25 because I want to you know I think that's going to be quite a time we spent with this game so I want to rather longer episode than less episode anyhow guys <laughs> one more short episode and i hope i can then make them a little bit longer for now we are actually at the end of this episode as usual guys i really thank you for watching if you have anything to say leave me a comment guys that's really important for me um even if i pre-produce episodes it's always good to um, have some feedback and you can in the next episodes work with that feedback and that's always great and really much appreciated again um, thank you, um, Borgen Tofen, for your. Sorry if I pronounced your name right and wrong. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, leave me a comment and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I will see you on Friday in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.